Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Drew, the entertainer, the owner of Serpent City Exotics, and this video is going to be about how to handle a cage aggressive snake of a large size. Um, I'm going to attempt to take my motley boa out right now, a proven breeder female. That's very cage aggressive and uh, eats like a beast and sometimes smacks her heads against the uh, acrylic uh, glass, uh, the acrylic right there every time I'm, I'm around because she thinks it's feeding time. So I have to take her out to clean her cage. It's somewhat of a challenge and I haven't took her out in a while. And I want to see how actually how big she got. And I'm going to show you how certain steps to do to make sure you do not get bit. So uh, I'm going to take the magic key and we're going to open her enclosure. Um, my buddy, uh, Jamie from Snake Hunters TV, good man that he is, uh, I'm sure he's going to compliment on these, these PJs, uh, <laughs> did a similar video where he was cleaning his, um, his, uh, 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 Retix, uh, cage, um, and he, he showed different ways of, of doing it as well, which it was, was really good, but the difference from his video and my video, I don't have snake hooks. I need to get some snake hooks. I was totally against snake hooks until I got bit by her. But I want to uh, handle her. Um, usually, when I said when I open this, she gets ready to eat and feed. So um, I have to on snake hooks, man. Uh, I'm gonna show her that I am not food. See, she's ready to strike. I'm gonna. Uh, Rub her on the head and on the body so she could see there's no rat in here. There's no rat at all. Matter of fact, just in case, sometimes if you're handling tongs that you fed rats, you don't want the scent of the rat or mouse or whatever on your body. So kind of get that scent off of you if you do have scents or whatever like that. Uh, I think she realized I'm not food yeah and I kind of want to touch her oh wow I forgot how aggressive this girl is man she doesn't even want me to touch her you guys are looking at my butt <laughs> she doesn't even want me to touch her uh she usually come on come on girl Oh, she's so damn strong, man. Uh, let me bring the camera a little more here so you guys actually see what I'm doing. Whew. Sorry, guys. Oh, she's kind of like right there. Uh, and her head is on this direction. This way. And I want to handle her that way. Against uh, well, the opposite side of her head. But she's pushing against me. Oh, the stupid ass bedding's coming out. But, ugh, let me get the tub ready. Hold on. Sorry, guys, this is taking so long. Dealing with big constrictors isn't easy, especially when you don't have snake hooks, man. I really gotta invest into some snake hooks and uh, make this happen. Come on, girl. Easy. That's what I hate about this. Come on. Come on, girl. Right, now that you guys see what I'm trying to do, I'm going to put the camera back here. Oh, my God. Such a mess. Such a damn mess. I'm sure it's an easier way, but it is what it is. I'm a one-man army here, man. Where is she? Oh, now she's coiled up. I can't even see where the head is. Oh, there she is. Oh, come on, girl. She is a big, big girl. All right, here she is. Nice big girl. Thick, thick as can be. She's very tense right now, and I'm sure she's very aggravated. But you can see how large she is. I do not want her to bite me whatsoever. So I'm trying 
to avoid getting bit. God, this is a mess. Bitch, man. Uh, she is in here right now, safe and sound. And uh, now that I got her out, I have to clean all this, sweep it up, mop it up, vacuum it up, and everything like that. Whew. What a mess. But she's in here. It's usually really not this messy, but. She was fighting with me like I've never seen before. Usually she's kind of lets me just pick her up. But uh, maybe she's camera shy, I don't know. But it's a workout with these damn bowlers. I love it, I like it. I love these ball constrictors, but you kind of have to... First, you have to let her know you're not food. You touch her, you caress her with either a snake hook or the opposite end of a tongue or something, anything. And then you kind of put her hand, you your hand on her and everything like that. And just let her know you're not, you're not food. And after that, kind of pull her and tug her a little bit. And if it's somewhat of a challenge, like I did here, you just got to pull her out. You got to yank her out. Because if you kind of um, tug and pull a little here, a little there, you're going to lose. They, they're tremendously strong. And you don't want to keep on pulling them and pushing them. Because it's going to aggravate them. And that's when they start biting and, and, and everything like that, striking. You don't want a big girl like that coiling around your arm or hitting your face any, any uh, type of way. So uh, I'm going to clean this. Oh my God. I'm going to clean this mess up right now. And uh, thanks guys for watching. I'm out of here. Give that a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, I love to interact with the Reptile community, especially on the um, pages on Facebook, the different Reptile forums. And I want to thank the uh, admins that let me post on there as well. Uh, you guys are awesome. And I'm out of here. What a mess.